Dr. J, welcoming you to this video in which I'm going to talk to you about conception, fertilization, and how the baby grows in the mother's womb. So life begins with the fertilization of a single female egg, the ovum, by a single male sperm cell. This is one of the 500 million sperm cells that race towards the ovum to be the first one to enter and fertilize the egg. The sperm cell has a head, a body and a tail and the tail helps the sperm to swim along and reach the egg. Now once the first one that reaches the egg and enters the wall of the, of the, of the female egg and goes in, starts the process of fertilization and the first cell of your baby is formed. Now this takes place in the fallopian tube. This over here is the fallopian tube. This is where the fertilization is taking place and the first cell then divides into two cells that divides into four and into eight and so on and so forth. And as the division is taking place, this moves along the fallopian tube and finally around the sixth day comes and gets implanted in the wall of the uterus where your baby is going to live and dwell for the next nine months. Now what do you think is the size of your baby at four weeks of age? This is the actual size of your baby, quarter of an inch long. Now I've just made a little model of this just for you to see what it looks like. It looks like a tiny little shrimp and it's, it's curved in this manner and along this curve the neural tube has already been laid down. Neural tube is the foundation for the brain and the spinal cord of your baby. The foundation for the eyes has been laid down, the foundation for the nasal cavities has been laid down, the foundation of the internal ear is already there although the external ear has not yet been uh, uh, taken shape. The, the tooth buds are already there, the, the, uh, the uh, rudimentary tongue, the uh, esophagus, the stomach and the intestine, they are also being laid down at this time. Liver, the foundation of liver is there, the foundation for the trachea and the lungs is there and believe you me, a tiny little heart has started to pump over there. Fine little blood vessels are being formed and the blood cells are being differentiated now. Over here at the back, I've just done it with a, with a blue shade. This is called the somite. This is a ridge which lays the foundation for the spinal column of your baby. And these two tiny buds over here are, are, are shown in yellow. The, the buds for the upper limb and the lower limb. So two buds on this side and two buds over here. The four buds for the, for the two arms and, and the two legs, they are all there as well. At eight weeks, your baby is one inch long. The face has started to look distinctly human. The eyelids are closing. The external ear is taking shape. The neck is well formed at this point and the hands and the feet have also appeared. And the first movement of the limbs has taken place at this time. And the first breathing movements have also been seen at, the, at this time. All the other organs, like uh, we saw at, at the four week stage, the internal organs, the, the, the tongue, the esophagus, the lung, the liver, uh, and all the other organs are developing, the heart is uh, uh, developing, the circulatory system is developing. Now, with the end of the eighth week, we come to the conclusion of the embryonic stage of the baby's development, which means that after eight weeks, the baby becomes a fetus, and for the rest of the nine months, it will be called the fetal stage. So by eight weeks, all the foundations for all the internal organs and everything has been completely laid down and after this time, it is only a matter of growth in size. But all the basic structures are all there in this one age baby of yours at eight weeks. At 12 weeks, your baby is about two and a half inches long. 
the eyebrows have started to appear and so has the hair on the upper lip. The eyes are becoming closer towards the front of the face and the ears are getting to their normal position along the side of the head. The neck at this stage is very well formed and all the other organs are, are developing at, the, at their normal pace. The heart, the lungs, uh, uh, the um, uh, abdominal organs. Pancreas at this point has started to secrete the hormone called insulin. So can you imagine that at 12 weeks this tiny little baby, two and a half inch baby is already producing insulin in the system which regulates the blood sugar. The sex organs of your baby, whether it's a male or a female, can now be seen. And fetal movements can be seen on an ultrasound when the doctor does the ultrasound but are not yet felt by the mother at this age. So this is what's going on in this two and a half inch baby of yours at 12 weeks. Now with this we come to the end of the first trimester of, of pregnancy. In the next video we are going to see what's going to happen in the second trimester of pregnancy. Till then you take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.